we created an AI roundtable. And Rick, this was inspired by uh, Kip Bodner, right? Yeah, from HubSpot. Yeah. Yeah. So we saw his idea. We absolutely loved it. We took it. We magnified it times a thousand. Okay, so bring it up. I want to show everybody our roundtable. All right, here we go. All right, what you're looking at right now are individuals that we have created detailed prompts for to sit at our round table and you could build a round table with six of these people right now we have done marketing mavericks so six individuals who are expert marketers these are based off of living and people who have passed on and we've also done life coaches six life coaches that we could put at a round table and these are monty yeah. python style images we absolutely love it uh, what are you going to say rick <laughs> so um and <clears throat> the way we built this is that each each coach or each round table member has its own llm so they have their own very detailed prompts based on what they know what their area expertise is plus they have their own llm platform so let's show um we're gonna do a live one where we build a round table but first let's look at something that we did previously we built a marketing round table with all of the marketing personas that we put in there and we put in our value prop for our company uh, it is something that we're working on modifying right now so we wanted to get the advice of these marketing professionals and <laughs> i can't even tell you sir steve shit on it uh, he yeah he, he crapped all over it he crapped on. I love Sir Steve. I didn't realize how like close he is to how I think <laughs> until I started seeing his advice. I mean, keep scrolling though. Show like we so yeah. Okay. We have the six. We have Steve. Then there's Sir Randy chimed in. Yep. Um, and we're not going to bore you by reading all this stuff, but Kelly, if you want to highlight something here, Sir. Yeah. Seth. No, I. Yeah, Sir Seth is uh, one of my favorites with what he comes back with, other than Sir Steve. Sir Steve's just a lot of opinion, but Sir Seth is very tactical. Um, so I, I'm actually taking his changes and actually making them and implementing them. Anne is always very content focused. So she comes like kind of with like a libra librarian-esque type <laughs> of motif in her advice. She's always very um, polite, too. She is super polite because sometimes they include gestures in here. Like he approaches, he has his hands folded, takes a deep breath, stares you in the eyes, and then gives you advice. And it's just like these prompts that we built out are utterly fantastic. They do a wonderful job. Um, and yeah, so now you have a round table of experts in a certain area that you can ask questions to. You can get different responses. And all those responses, like Rick said earlier, are based on personalized LLMs set up with those personas. Yeah. And so we built this grail of knowledge interface, which it all lives here, just like any LLM you would chat with, right? You have all of your previous chats here, you can look them up and then you have all your, your answers here. So here's where you build a round table. So let's, let's build a round table, Kelly. You want to build one life coaches? Which yeah, let's do just call it life coaches for now yeah for now we'll just call it life coaches life. and just add the yeah. add the usual suspects that we built for life coaches okay so we got uh, uh, who we got we got coach anthony mm -hmm. member two we will add brenda coach brenda and notice like as he's adding the coaches, there's a little specialty underneath each of them. So when you're in the interface, you can get a brief idea of the style that they're going to come back with. Yeah. All right. So we have our life coaches round table. Yep. Now let's ask them a question. All right. So we go, we go to the grail of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to create a prompt here. Uh, what is your quest, Kelly? Um, do I moved to a new city um, and feel isolated? How do I create a new social circle fast? Mm, that's a good one. It's real. <laughs> okay. This is a good question. Oh, yeah, you go. You go. No, it's okay. So we, we have our quest, and we're going to choose our round table, which we're going to choose the life coaches. Okay. And then we're going to hit run. 
And you see, Coach Anthony is up first. They're pondering our quest. So they're all finished, they're all in. Let's just take a quick tour, see how it populates. We have Coach Anthony here and he's got a lot to say. Then we got Coach Brenda. Coach Mark. <laughs> I love his eyes. <laughs> I know. Coach Emmett. Uh Coach Al. Oh my god. They really got his persona. It's Coach, hidden nailed it. I know. It's like it's so Coach Anthony, I think this is funny because the way it came back, it's all like it's like a, a script for a movie. It has all these actions. You know, I stand up pacing around the table, my voice building in intensity. <laughs> I point directly at one of the life coaches at the table. Oh my gosh. So he is literally knows that he is at the table. With five yeah. Coaches. It's like, he you knows he's at the table. The, okay. The funny thing about this is these are all run through different LLMs. So coach Anthony, I think he's on Gemini and the rest of the coaches are on different things. Like we have deep seek and all sorts of different things running one. It's different for each coach. That's funny. Well, let's dive into Coach Brenda. I think she's Coach got some Brenda, actionable advice here. Yeah, I think she's a little softer. Um, she is. She is moving the soft, to a new softer side. Stir up, yeah, stir up mixed emotions. Like she's just very delicate hand and embrace very... your vulnerability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> got to lean into that new city. You don't put so yeah. much judgment on yourself. She okay. gets it. That's practical stuff. Um, engage in community yeah. activities. Participate in local events workshops or classes that align with your interests okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i like cool. the, vol the volunteer your time i mean it's very easy time. to just volunteer yeah. with animals things like that like i know that's something that i do yeah that's a good way to meet people right mm -hmm. yeah utilize social platforms eh. <laughs> Well, I know you think, eh, but like, again, like I created the community for my neighborhood and it's, it is a Facebook group that is oh, a you place did. where, okay. yeah, yeah. But you, so, but you, did you know the people before you did that? Um, well, it was a new, it's a new build, a new build neighborhood. So when we all got together, like within the first six months of moving in, like we talked about the idea and then we just kind of passed it around the neighborhood. I honestly don't know how it got around, but there's, okay. there's like a there's a decent amount of us in there now. So the social Initiate gatherings. social gatherings. Okay. Take an issue or small gatherings, such as coffee meetups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I like to practice the self-compassion. Be patient with yourself. Celebrate small victories. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Kind to yourself as you navigate the new chapter. I like mm -hmm. that's, that's the, that's the life coach stuff that resonates with me. But I mean, yeah, that's that that's diving into our life coach roundtable. But there is so many practical use cases for this. Like we have done marketing and we're doing the life coaches, but you can take this further. And if you're you can do legal and compliance counsel, you could do uh, investor and fundraising members. Um, yeah. Even so Actually, much as, you know, well, the fundraising one, I may bring that to my my charity that I'm on the board of directors for. I mean, like, it's it's kind of endless. Like, it's just very creative. Like, you can just keep going with it. Like, mindfulness, like, and anything, like, can be at a round table for, I don't know. It's just, it's really cool. Like, it came to light, and we just keep realizing there's more use cases for it. So we're really excited to share it with everybody. Yeah. This is one of my favorite. I've been playing with it a lot because it's just so much fun. I, I found that I really like what Steve comes back with. And so I built a Steve heavy round table which I have three Steves on it, <laughs> but they, they each have a different LLM and they always come back with different advice, even though it's three Steves with the same perspective. What would be fun to build is like take some marketing advisors and maybe some legal advisors and put them together on a table and then give them like a really sticky topic, give different viewpoints of it. Cause you know, they're going to like fight about it. Oh, like pair, like Compliance building stuff. a table where two people or two groups go back and forth. So then you could see, like, see that the the use cases for this is endless. It's just it just seems so endless. Like I love that. Like get a good debate going and find that kernel of truth in which in between them. And just a, a a shameless plug for our school. So this is something that everybody in our school gets a copy of, have their own, and add to it. But let's end on one thing. Bring up Sir Robin. Look at oh. Sir Robin. He's right there. Let's just highlight him. 
We love Sir Robin from Monty Python. That let's show them the prompt. Like we could share the, this. Is yeah, his specialty is coward. <laughs> yeah, he's coward. Instinct is to avoid confrontation at all costs. You are Sir Robin from Monty Python's Holy Grail. Cowardly Robin's instinct is to avoid confrontation. He famously runs away from the three-headed the knight, three knight fight <laughs> and is mocked by his minstrels for bravely fleeing from danger. <laughs> yeah, he's great. When when he's on the, we I throw him on a few uh, tables for queries, and it just the responses that come back is like, why would you do that? Just run away from it. This seems too hard. And it's just, it's just, it's just we every time me and Rick put something together, there has to be some type of comedic relief involved. Otherwise, I mean come on like you just got to yeah. make it fun why like, not it's, it's, it's fun and it's practical and it's real like yeah yeah i hope you got some value out of this and maybe got some ideas of different ways to use ai um creatively like you know everybody i think everybody know now knows how to use ai to create content but i think there's so much more that's like 10 percent of what ai can do this is more about strategy like using ai to help you with strategy, I think that's really a great use case for AI. Yeah, it's a practical system. It's beyond a tool, um, which is what we're about, building actual practical systems that business owners, marketers, solopreneurs can implement. Um, yeah, we take it beyond the tool, that's for sure. Beyond the tool, beyond the template. But <laughs> I think I think that's all we had for today. So I hope everybody enjoyed looking at what we created and can't wait to share our next creation with you.